Hi, I'm Morgan from Whole Lots A Love, and I'm here at the Lavazza headquarters in New York City. I'm here with Tonya Mancino, who is the Director of Marketing for Lavazza USA. Tonya, we'd really like to learn more about the Lavazza brand. Can you tell us a little bit about the history and the philosophy of Lavazza? Sure. Well, Lavazza was started in 1895 in a little place in Italy called Torino. In America, it's called Turin. Uh, it was started by Luigi Lavazza. He basically opened a grocery store and was selling various products, and he started importing coffee. And he started mixing different types of coffee. Um, and he basically invented what is the Italian taste for coffee. So the, the, all the elements associated with Italian coffee, strength and passion, all that stuff is, was a mix that was invented by Luigi Lavazza. He was the first um, person to start mixing different types of coffee, which enabled this specific type, type of taste. Um, to this day, the Lavazza philosophy is really about blending, and we have a variety of different blends because our philosophy is really that every consumer is different, everybody has their own different specific tastes, um, and we make a blend that anybody could like. So instead of just focusing on one blend, which is what a lot of companies do, we really have a variety of blends that can suit any consumer taste. What is Lavazza doing to bring exceptional coffee to the U.S. market? Well, right now, the U.S. is a big focus for Lavazza, um, and in growing in the U.S. is a big focus for our business. So we are really researching what um, Americans love about coffee and how we could translate the Italian taste into that American coffee. So for example, Americans, we are already have fantastic espresso products and cappuccinos and everything that's at the base of espresso, but a lot of Americans love filter coffee. Um, so we've been doing a lot of research and a lot of product development in the area of filter coffee to help satisfy that need for American consumers. How has Lavazza's business changed over time? Um, over time, I would say that Lavazza has been very focused in Italy. They are the favorite coffee of Italy. Uh, they have a 50% market share in Italy, so it's definitely the number one brand preferred by Italians, which is why we call it Italy's favorite coffee. Um, but over time, Lavazza has really been focusing uh, its efforts more globally, so expanding into Europe and now into the United States as the next big market. Tonia, Lavazza is really well known for its cutting edge branding. Can you tell us the story behind that or what inspired you to move in that direction? It's a good story. The um, second generation of the Lavazza family really believed very strongly in branding and in marketing, and that this was what was going to bring the product to the masses in Italy. So he formed a relationship with a very unique individual named Armando Testa. Uh, Armando Testa had an advertising agency in Torino, uh, and they were immediately friends and hit it off. And Armando Testa piloted some of the first Lavazza commercials um, that were all centered around a character called Carmen Sita in those days. That was back in the 1960s. Um, and to this day, and this just speaks to kind of Lavazza's also philosophy, to this day Armando Testa is still our advertising agency. We have never changed, never looked at another agency. They have really helped us inspire um, what this brand is and what it's all about. So you've really built a great relationship with them. How is Lavazza using social media to connect with consumers? Lavazza, Lavazza globally has been using social media for some time now, definitely. And I, you know, I think depending on which social media platform you're talking about, the strategy differs. But um, it's really about offering a place that people are passionate about the Lavazza brand and passionate about coffee can engage with each other. So fostering that community and fostering that love for Lavazza. Um, we recently in the U.S. have just launched our own Lavazza USA pa Facebook pages as well as Twitter and, and um, Instagram pages as well. So we're looking to really connect more um, with things that are relevant for this market and really drive that in this market. Can you tell us a little bit about the Lavazza social calendar? The Lavazza social calendar was um, a project this year. So Lavazza has been doing calendars for 20 years. It's a very big element of our branding strategy and has been our international campaign for the past 20 years. Um, and we've worked with top photographers from all over the world and focus on a really different theme every year. This year, Lavazza decided to take that project online. So they worked with an uh, amazing artist called um, Marco Brambillo that did an installation that was really the, the inspiration for all of the, um, all of the content within the social calendar came from all user-generated content. So the idea was for this year really to make the calendar be about 
be created by the fans and interpreted by the artist. Great. So it was taking it very much to a different level. Can you tell us about your partnership with Wimbledon? Sure. lavazza has been partnering for Wimbledon. This will be our third year. 2013 will be our third year. Um, and it's a fantastic partnership. Um, tennis is something that is a global sport. So when Lavazza is really looking to expand its presence globally uh, and thinking about how to do that, we really wanted to focus on partners that are globally renowned. And the thing about Wimbledon is that it's such an iconic sporting event. It's not just any tennis tournament. It is the tennis tournament, Wimbledon. And we felt that that was a perfect match for Lavazza because Lavazza is the iconic Italian brand. Um, so it was a very good fit together. How is Lavazza contributing to sustainable coffee development? Lavazza has a project called the Terra Project, um, which is really all about, um, it's a Rainforest Alliance certified um, coffee blend. And it's all about um, taking coffee from these particular communities, so these coffee farms, and teaching these coffee farmers, investing money back into teaching these coffee farmers to uh, harvest their coffee more sustainably, to respect the environment, to um, be more efficient so that they can become more profitable and have more in the off seasons, because um, famine during the off seasons and coffee growing is, is, very, is a big uh, hardship on the coffee growers. Um, and they also use the additional money from the higher prices that we pay for this to invest back into the community in other ways, so combating diseases, in investing in schools so that people can have a good education. So it's really, it's about the environment, but it's also about social, economic uh, sustainability as well. For someone who's never tried it before, why should they try Lavazza coffee for the first time? I think Lavazza, our statement, our positioning is Italian passion in every cup. And just the way that Italians have a passion for living and a passion in what they eat. They have a similar passion for their coffee and for sharing that moment with their friends and their families. And it's really, the Lavazza recipe has been handed down from generation to generation. And the company's sole focus has really just been about offering the perfect coffee experience and delivering that little piece of Italian lifestyle in a simple moment like coffee. And finally, what's coming up for Lavazza in the future? I can tell you what's coming up for Lavazza in the future. We have some exciting new product uh, launches coming out this year um, that will be available towards the end of this year in grocery stores. So we have a new line of coffee products coming out that we're very excited about. Um, it, the U.S. is the only place that they'll be available, exclusively launched in the U.S. Um, and they've been created specifically um, with the thought of American consumers' taste in mind. So we're very excited about that project. Tony, thank you so much for giving us an inside look at Lavazza. It really sounds like there's a lot of exciting things coming up for the U.S. market. Thank you. I'm Morgan from Whole Latte Love. Whole Latte Love is your resource for everything coffee. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily updates on new coffee gear, plus hundreds of videos including how-tos, equipment reviews, recipes, expert technical advice, and more.